Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do what someone really needs to hear this read. So it's going to be for all signs, whoever resonates with it. And when you come across it is when you're meant to see it. It's timeless. This is little Delilah. She's a little spirit guided mascot here on the channel. So she just lays here sleeping and looking cute. All right, guys, please don't forget about the two situations. Situation one, never, ever give your money out on the internet to anybody that contacts you on any social platform. They're trying to rob you. The second situation is these freaking buttons and these bells. So if you could find it in your heart to ring my bell and hit my button, I'm going to thank you very profusely ahead of time. It doesn't cost anything. It's fun. It's, you know, entertainment purposes only. So here we go. It's with an attitude of gratitude. I would humbly like to thank Source. The Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relate clear and concise messages for the higher good of the collective. For someone really needs to hear this. And by the way, guys, in case nobody told you today, Delilah and I love you. Here we go. Show me what I need to see. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Ancestors, can I have cards, please? Okay, whoa, that one flew right out. Okay, page of pentacles. Learning how to do something new. Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus energy. You also have the seven of wands in reverse. So, are you giving up? Are you exhausted? Are you overwhelmed? Are you just, you know, admitting defeat and surrendering? What are you doing here? <clears throat> Show me. Okay, well, that one hit first, so we have to do it this way, right? Well, let's give it an ancestors. Okay, so we have a page of pentacles here, like I said. So this is somebody who's, um, you know, they're ambitious, diligent, goal-oriented, some kind of a planner, very dependable. And, it, you know, maybe some of you just recently started on some kind of a new financial endeavor or um, started a new job or something like that, okay? Now... Are you admitting defeat already? Because the seven of wands in, in reverse means like, that's it, I give up. So somebody's given up here. Maybe, you know, at the foundation, you seem to be burned down with the ten of wands here. I'm not going to lie. I mean, yeah. This is stress, obligation, struggles, getting burnt the freak out. Too much responsibility, right? And uh, crowning you, though. At the crowning, you got nice fairness and balance coming in. So you got Libra energy there. But, you know, you do have an eight of swords here. So this talks about... Uh, you know, some kind of isolation, being trapped in your mind, restricted. This is, uh, I call this too far short of a Happy Meal card, right? Because why? Because this, you know, this is ruminating thoughts. This is when there's nothing else to worry about. I'm going to make up stuff and drive myself crazy until I'm doing the Thorazine Shuffle in the nut house, right? So, like, snap out of that energy. There's something that's ruminating around in, in somebody's head here. Show me, uh, what's the supporting card for the Eight of Swords? Eesh. Some of you could be feeling victimized in a situation, maybe, in, in the future. Okay, show me the supporting cards. Nope, too many. Sorry, not doing it. Supporting card. Okay, we got it now. Okay, so some kind of a breakthrough in a situation. Maybe this is what you're driving yourself crazy about. You want some kind of a breakthrough in a situation. Whoever I'm talking to, right? You can't, like, take it no more. Maybe you gave up here because it was too burdensome. But you do have fairness and balance crowning you. Maybe you just, you know. Show me what's in the actual environment. What's in the actual environment? Please and thank you. Can I see the environment? Thank you. So you're holding back something. Now, it could be your money. It could be some kind of material wealth, whatever you have. It could be your thoughts, your feelings, your words, your emotions. Just holding back. This isn't you, this is somebody else in your environment. But there's a lot of people not telling anybody else. It's like a lot of the left hand not letting the right hand know what's going on. <coughs> you know, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still sick. But so you got Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. You have Libra, like I said, again with the earth. And now you got the Empress. This is Taurus energy again. Okay, so it could be sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female. You know, just place the energy. Um, this is, you know, this is full abundance. Um, you know, this is concentrating on your responsibilities and getting shit done. This is somebody who's an entrepreneur. I said that earlier. Maybe somebody has embarked on a new, uh, 
financial journey of some sort, but abundant. Some of you could be having babies or hearing about, you know, family members. It's, it's about fertility. So whatever you're, you know, whatever that is, it can be businesses, friendships, you know, the start of things. Uh, yeah. It's also very nurturing. I mean, you know, the Empress is all four queens. The best attributes to them rolled up into one and then some. She rules the entire world, not just an empire, and she does it magnificently. And everybody's very, very happy. So show me the most likely outcome. It is the Queen of Wands. Nice. Fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so the Queen of Wands, she's friendly, but cold. Male or female. They are not... A warm, affectionate, you know, ooey-gooey energy, okay? This is somebody who gets things done. The Queen of Wands is um, confident and passionate, self-assured, charismatic, vibrant, optimistic, a go-getter, fearless. I mean, yeah, this is the one to get things done. You want something done, give it to the Queen of Wands. And some of you could be feeling really carefree right now with this Page of Wands. Or maybe you're dealing with somebody that's younger. It's, it's, it's more of an immature energy. I mean, it's a page, okay? You could be getting some news too, pages or messengers. But um, this is more like carefree, living in the moment, just enjoying life, not being committal, you know, taking it, staying in the moment, like a, a day at a time, not worrying about, you know, anything, but just living life and enjoying it, right? So let's see. Let's clarify this, please. Somebody needs to hear this. We need the really needs to hear this. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. I gotta do it over here so I don't hit the wild in the face. Um, what's the difference, right? Page of Pentacles. Oh, there goes the nose. Oh God, what the hell? That's crazy. Okay, so you got an Ace of Pentacles coming out kind of in reverse. Okay, and the magician. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We know we have to talk about this first. This, there could have been some missed chances or something that you know, like a missed opportunity here. Um, the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Sorry, guys. Um, I was on the page of Pentacles. But um, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse talks about, uh, you know, a lack of planning, maybe bad investments, okay? So some of you, you know, maybe that's why you started on this new financial, if, you, if that's what it is, or some kind of way, you know, a beginning of something here, okay? And probably something financial. Whatever it was, going to be different for everybody. You know, you could have been coming out of a place of lack here. Maybe you made some bad investments in the past or... Uh, People were stingy, you know, not a good, you know, not a good plan of motion, a plan of action. Um, so now you got this magician, okay? Gemini energy. So what's the magician? The magician is the master manipulator. It's the manifester. It's creation. It's resourcefulness. It's action and willpower. It's also, you know, intellect, skill, and power. The magician can manipulate situations. So, you know, maybe you... Uh, could have a Gemini around you. Some of you could have Gemini in your chart. Could actually be a Gemini, but making shit happen, right? The master manipulator card. So let's see what this is. Show me this magician. Show me the magician, please. Thank you. Okay, taking a new leap of faith. Good, good, good. This is good. We like new leaps of faith, right? Listen, there's nothing, no harm in trying and failing. The harm is really not trying at all and having regret. You don't want regret. So, the fool, Aries energy. Take that new leap of faith. It's the first of the major arcana. It's a new beginning. It's about adventure and being a free spirit and spontaneity. Maybe travel, idealism, originality. You do have the two of swords that came in with that. So, you know, the two of swords could talk about having difficult choices. Maybe, you know, being at a stalemate or... um the Two of Swords could also talk about being stuck in the middle, not wanting to see something purposely, maybe like, you know, feeling restricted, definitely feeling restricted in some area, maybe not wanting to, uh, yeah, so now you got the Two of Wands, well, that's a lot of twos, guys, okay, so now we're talking about, you know, taking the first steps in planning in a situation, so that's good, maybe some of you didn't want to acknowledge what kind of steps you had to take to move forward in the situation. Okay, so now you got this two of wands. The two of wands, this is, you know, decision making. It's uh, taking risks. It's being inspired to be successful in something. So, you know, sometimes you got to throw a question to the wind. I mean, and what do we, oh, look at this. Wow. <laughs> okay, guys, now you got the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles. So this is the fire queen again. What did I tell you about the fire queen? Action, action. That's an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. That's a go-getter, okay? They make things happen. They're fearless. They're brave. Gods and goddesses of war. And now you got the, pen the queen of pentacles, okay? 
So who's the queen of pentacles? This is the business person, the businesswoman of the, right? She rules money, okay? And she is financially abundant and she is confident and responsible and organized and grounded. And, and you know, yeah, she could have her own business or start, she could be the entrepreneur of her own empire, right? So something you started here. But while she would put the planning and stuff, the queen of wands would actually go out like do the action. So these two together, and this is really, you know, I'm feeling this is the same person. I do not feel this is two different people coming in, okay? Inspired to success here, okay? And I think some of you, I'm really, you know, some of you maybe didn't want to see that you had this ability to take this new leap of faith and be successful. So, but you manifested this. This is something you manifested. And maybe you don't see it coming either. Maybe some of you, you know, as this hasn't happened yet, but this is going to be the fairness and balance in this situation, people. I'm telling you. Show me, uh, yeah, give me that one. The Queen of Pentacles. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So many pencils. Okay, so now we... Oh, the Emperor in Reverse. All right, so now we're talking Aries Energy, but not taking control of a situation. The Emperor... Okay, the Emperor in Reverse talks about maybe some kind of uh, stubbornness or being rigid. It's a lack of discipline. It could be somebody who abuses their power in whatever way or, be, or tries to be excessively controlling like a tyrant. So there could have been some kind of tyrant around you. I'm not feeling this is your energy. Maybe trying to control your moves here or control even your inspiration, right? Maybe somebody doesn't want to see you be this queen of pentacles and this queen of wands. Assertive and smart and, and financially capable and the whole thing. Like that's taking complete control of everything. Your whole life there, right? Absolutely. You got an ace of cups in reverse with this. Emperor, excuse me, I'm belching in my nose as a chin. This means we're channeling right now. Um, so this could be um this could be repressed emotions, the ace of cups in reverse. And this could be like some kind of coldness or emptiness, feeling unloved and gloomy. Maybe that's why this emperor's in reverse. They don't feel loved, or they're feeling some kind of emptiness. There's something missing, okay? And then that's why they're empty. Got it? So whoever that is, now, you know. You all have to place the energy where it goes if you resonate. Don't make it resonate if it doesn't resonate, right? Just But if it resonates, you know, you know where these energies go. Or you, you're watching. And that's just how that goes. Okay, so here you go. Oh, look at this. Financial security. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to hear this? Okay, thank you, ancestors. So you guys, you can take, you manifested some kind of a new leap of faith. But something that maybe you don't see coming, but it, it was something that inspired you. Now, you took control of the situation. You became this queen of wands and this queen of pentacles. Took control of your money. Took control of your money. But maybe some of you didn't even realize you were like the emperor in reverse because of some kind of, uh, maybe being too rigid, like I said, or no discipline. Or just not wanting to cooperate, because the Emperor in Reverse would not be very cooperative at all. Uh, then, you know, on top of repressed emotions, coldness, emptiness, you transmuted this energy for financial abundance. This Whatever this was over here that you started. So this is what? You focused your energy on your securing your bag, like I tell you all the time. Thank you. You followed the assignment, right? Yep, let's get one for the Ten of Pentacles. Here we go. Oh, yeah, because of some kind of a painful ending. Some kind of a painful ending. That's what happened here. God bless you that you're tremendous. Like, really. Some kind of a painful ending. And, you know, the Ten of Swords is the worst one, right? We know that. This is defeat. This is uh, bitterness. Collapse. A dead end. Some kind of loss. Somebody sticking swords in your back and running away and hiding because they don't even have the courage to come to your face, right? <laughs> really. Show me what the say of swords is. What are we uh, driving ourselves crazy about? Okay, so now, well, because we've been thinking that there's some kind of, oh boy, okay. So now we got the six of wands in reverse. So now we're thinking that there was some, <coughs> excuse me, some kind of failure, some kind of lack, right? Maybe because we weren't looking at something or we were too busy driving ourselves crazy, right? There is a king of cups coming in. This is somebody new. Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Who's the king of cups? He's the daddy king. This is somebody who's loving, warm, emotional, you know, they probably have feelings for you. Maybe you don't think you're going to be successful. Maybe you're going to see this because they came in together, like with the six of wands in reverse. Um, yeah, you know, maybe you, you're not giving, it's a lack of recognition, you know. So you're not seeing this king of cups coming in, maybe because you're too busy focused on the pain that you were in from this. Because that's painful, you know what I'm saying? And we would want those swords. So... And you're too busy trying to recover your financial, you know, you're doing your work. You're so busy working on your money and, and healing from whatever pain this is. Whoever stuck these swords in your back, okay? 
That you're not looking, you're not giving recognition to this king of... Yeah, listen to this. You're just driving yourself crazy. You're not giving recognition to a king of cups here. That's coming in for you, people. I'm telling you. Okay, let me see. Show me this king of cups and then we'll move to the judgment card. Show me the king of cups. What's going on with the king of cups? Okay. Oh, Leo. Could be a Leo. Well, maybe it could be somebody with water and, and Leo in their chart. Or this is, you know, you're going to have to be strong. The strength, this is my card of self-control. One of them anyway, right? The strength talks about inner strength, courage and bravery, having some confidence, controlling the situation, overcoming self-doubt and fear, right? Just being in control. So some of you got to grab, grab your shit. I'm hearing, grab your shit and get, get in control. You got a judgment here. So there is going to be a breaking, all right? The judgment is, it's a, you know, a very decisive, yeah, let's see this judgment. What are we doing here with the judgment? Some kind of decisive action. Oh, and it better be towards your happy. Oh, look at this. You got to be strong. And you got to open up your heart here to this king of cups. Okay? That nobody's seeing. Not giving recognition to. You're not recognizing something. You're going to have to be strong. Because, you know, and this could be somebody that has Leo in the chart. But this is your ultimate happiness. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Don't do this. Open your eyes. Because guess what? You know. Everybody, this is the card everybody wants, ultimate happiness. Happy wife, happy life. Kids are playing, it's a rainbow. I mean, there's not a cloud in the sky, you know. And I hear nothing gets better than this. Nothing gets better. This is the song I'm hearing. So, yeah. So, you know, in the meantime here, let's get over to it. But you, they're still holding back in the environment. So, somebody's still up in their head with that eight of swords. Show me. One, two, three, four. Two more for that judgment card, please. Okay. Oh, boy, I love when my ancestors listen. So you got a page of pentacles now. Didn't we start in the page of pentacles? Yeah, so now that's the beginning of something. So you got to start somewhere. This is what Spirit's saying. Thank you, ancestors. you got to start somewhere. The page of the pentacles is the beginning of something. Now, yeah, definitely could be finances. But it still mean. look, some of you are suffering from it. This is what happened with those ten of swords, isn't it? Yep, look at that. Look at that. That's what happened. I know it. I'm sending you hugs. Listen, here's the thing. There's a new beginning, okay? There's a new beginning here. You may be going to get a message, maybe from an earth sign, somebody that has earth. You know. Like Page Pentacles is starting a new beginning. Oh, you don't see this coming yet. Ah, oh, I love that. I love that surprises. This could be something that's being... Listen, this could be being held back from you. You just don't see it. The moon, yeah, while it could be trickery to see why... Like the, it's just really things you don't see because they're in the dark. Not everything has to be miserable, right? So there's something that you don't see coming here about your ultimate happiness. And because this card won't go away, this is twice already that it's stuck out in my face, it could have something to do with, you know, this emotional pain that, you, that you're in. Emotional pain across the board. And what is this? You know, destructive energy because of some destructive energy. Now, uh, show me this four of pentacles. And that, you know, explains a little bit why we're holding back because we don't know anything, right? Okay, show me. You have, okay, the high priest is in reverse. So, you know, some of you could be having some repressed intuition right now. And there could be some confusion. And, um, you know, somebody could also have hidden motives with the high priestess in reverse. I mean, yeah, this is Pisces energy. So the moon is Cancer and Pisces. Let me do this for you right now. So you got Pisces, Cancer and Pisces. There is Earth. There's uh, Air. You got Leo specifically, Aries specifically, Gemini specifically. The Emperor in reverse is Aries again. The Empress here is Taurus. So there's like pretty much everything on the board. Okay, so here we go. Okay. So there is... Oh, no. It's the Nine of Cups in reverse. Are we upright? Yeah, we're upright. Okay, so now we're talking about some kind of maybe, again, superficiality. Maybe somebody's superficial when you don't see it. Or there's some kind of... Um, you know, with the Nine of Cups in reverse, there could be some kind of lack of fulfillment or some kind of dissatisfaction. Um, maybe a disappointment. And you're not seeing this or somebody's not seeing it because their intuition is off. You know, there is something. So, we don't go Capricorn and Taurus here. Maybe keeping some kind of a secret back and you're not seeing it. That What the secret is then, yeah, thank you, ancestors. What the secret is, is, uh, yeah, this nine of cups in reverse, that there's uh, some kind of instability. Some some kind of instability. Could be emotionally. Like, um, yeah, it's dissatisfaction. It's a lack of fulfillment. This situation is not going to fulfill somebody. 
No matter how, yeah. Well, we'll see how we go. It's gonna be different for everybody, you know. Show me. Show me, uh, yeah, the Nine of Cups in reverse, please and thank you. Okay, King of Wands. So again, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. King of Wands to me is usually Leo, okay? And uh, again with the Leo. But Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. The King of Wands is the stern king, right? This is somebody who's unemotional. They are no nonsense. They're fair, but they they have a severe cold energy. They're not affectionate. They're not warm and loving. And this one will just as soon cut your head off as look at you. You know, so now you got the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here. Those are the ultimate, you know, soulmates, uh, whatever you call them, twin flames. Like, those are the counterparts. Okay, let me see. Oh, so now we're exhausted. This is, you know... Let me lay down and die for a few minutes. Yeah, I'm so tired card, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, four of Swords. Some of you can be really over... You know, the Four of Swords, some of you can be really in, in need of some recuperation, peace, relaxation, some rest, some sleep, without a doubt. You know, rejuvenate yourselves. Show me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so now we're working on this Empress energy. Show me the Empress with this... Okay. So, here we go. We have the Sun in reverse. Oh, brother. All right, so, you know, the sun in reverse, we are talking here. Uh -huh. Okay. That's Leo energy again, right? I told you that. And the sun in reverse talks about some kind of um, not being uh, fulfilled. There's, you know, there's some kind of materialistic um, thing that's missing. You're not, something's definitely not being illuminated, okay? And, uh, yeah. Now we got the Crimea River card. This is what this is. This is Justin Timberlake Cry Crimea River, the five, five of Pentacles, right? Left out in the cold. Something, right? Maybe some kind of... There's some kind of lack. There's some kind of void, okay? This is what I'm hearing. You know. Five of Pentacles could be financial destitution. Maybe this is why the sun is in reverse. I don't know. You know. Yeah. Show me. There's some kind of lack of enthusiasm or some kind of happiness being blocked here. And it could be financial abundance too. Show me. And now you got the Queen of Swords again. My God. So now you got three queens on the board. This is, you know, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now the Queen of Swords, you know, this is somebody, this is a no-nonsense queen, okay? This could be somebody widowed, separated, or in mourning. Male, female, we know this, right? But somebody who's brave, strategic, very straightforward. They could be manipulative because they're very intelligent. They think all the time. They're efficient, smart, problem solver. But they, they also get things done. I mean, they're not, you know, they're very, um, they could be egotistical, like a know-it-all. So there could be somebody around you that's um, maybe trying to lead you in some kind of a direction because they think, you know, that she's trying to lead these two somewhere. Um, Possibly because they think they know better. Because, you know, the, the swords, air, energy, you know. Now you got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. Something turning in your favor. So, let's see. Show me one more for the Queen of Swords, please. One more for the Queen of Swords. Okay, so now you got the Hangman. But the Hangman's coming in reverse. So, now, you know, yeah... We're talking about um, some kind of discontentment, some kind of um, maybe apathy or disinterest, stalling, trying to avoid sacrifice, um, having negative patterns, not being open-minded to what anybody's thinking, right? Just worried about yourself um, and your opinion. So this is, you know, Pisces energy. So this doesn't have to be you. This, this would be the Queen of Swords, somebody who's not really worried about what anybody else is thinking because they think they know it all. And I'm not saying, you know, there's a lot of people here, okay? There's a lot of feminine energy on this board. You have the Queen of Wands twice. You have the Queen of Swords. Uh, you know, the Queen of Pentacles. So, you know, there's a lot of energy here on the board. Now, let me see this Queen of Wands. Show me the Queen of Wands. What's the Queen of Wands doing out here as the most likely outcome? So, you know, maybe trying to have, you know, open your minds a little. Don't be so close-minded. The Wheel of Fortune popped out. Did I just tell you I saw that on the bottom of the deck? Nice. So, Sagittarian energy. The Wheel of Fortune is a good card. I mean, yeah. The Wheel of Fortune talks about 
you know, luck being in your favor, okay? The wheel talks about destiny and, and, and fate and fortune and chance and luck on your side. Everything, you know, it's your time to shine kind of stuff here. Okay, here we go. We're going to take them. Oh, you know what? We don't want three. We don't. We don't. We don't want three. Let's make sure they're in the upright. Here we go. Show me the wheel of fortune. Only give me two, please. And one at a time, even. No, spirit says, no, take these three and take them the way I gave them to you. And that's all the way to do it. Okay. So, you know, with this star in reverse, some of you could be feeling kind of hopeless right now. Or maybe you have a lack of faith in the universe, God, or, you know, whatever it is. There could be some boredom. You know, maybe you're not feeling very dis inspired. Maybe some of you are feeling like you're actually in despair. All right. Maybe things aren't happening. This wheel of fortune maybe isn't turning fast enough for you. You're not giving it the chance to be in divine timing. And you don't really, because they all came out reverse. You don't really know what to invest your effort in here, right? With the seven of pentacles in reverse. This talks about uh, procrastination or, um, you know, a, like an impatience, a waste. Um, not having long-term vision, right? Because, right? And you also got this eight of wands in reverse. So, you know, this could be some of you waiting for something to change in your life. You know, maybe feeling frustrated. Maybe, you know, there's delays. Um, things aren't moving quick enough. There's no momentum in things. Now, at the bottom of this deck, we have, you know, weighing your options out. Balancing yourself out. Getting yourself, you know, on level ground. Being flexible. Stretching your resources, right? Adaptability. That's what that is about. Okay, let's get you a, a kipper. And some numerology, and uh, thank you for joining me for, you know, someone really needed to hear this. Apparently they did, right? Here, give me, um, there could be a courtship to, involved in this, number four. Show me, Kipper. Come on, Kipper, give it to me. Okay. There's a change in a situation, number nine. Now, this could be any kind of a change. It could be a work change. Some of you could be moving, right? Um, you know, changing friends, whatever. There's some kind of message, number seven. You have seven, nine, and four uh, that some of you could be getting. Maybe you're, you know, you're going to be expecting it. Uh, I don't know. This is free parking. Thoughts, 16 or seven. Some of you are either ruminating thoughts about somebody or somebody's having ruminating thoughts about you. So it's renting space in somebody's head without actually paying the rent. Uh, you know, that's that. Now, 39 or 12, there's some kind of community. I told you you got 16 or 7. Uh, it could be any kind of community. It could be, you know, the neighborhood community, a church community, or some kind of a mutual interest community. It's all different, right? They look like very nice people. You have number 20. So there could be some kind of real estate or a house involved in this. And uh, somebody's very concerned about something here, okay? Because they're getting gray hair. So whoever that is. And it looks like they're concerned about some kind of a house here. Look at this. He's looking right over at the house. So, you know, yeah. And maybe that's, you know, there's going to be a change. Now, show me. Okay. What else do we have? Any more cards for, um, thank you. You also have number 11, so sun and wealth. Hmm. Sudden wealth. Maybe some of you are going to get a message about, you know, you got number 11 now. So, let me just see if Kipper wants to spit any more out. Oh, yeah, he does. Look. Skipper's a, uh, Kipper's a male in this house. 15 or 6. There could be, you know, some kind of a... Uh, this is a good choice, the lover's card. But it's also, you know, there could be some kind of a love situation with this courtship. There could be a false person, number 8, around you. Uh, you know, wearing a mask. And number 28 uh, or 10. So I'm going to say one, the, okay, you got one, 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 one. So 11, 11, and you got three, three, three. So three threes. Let me just get you a couple of letters here. Throw some letters down. So these could be initials or places, whatever it is. You got S, H, I'm hearing Shay. You have, yep. You have uh, J, I'm hearing Joe. Uh, I'm hearing Gemma. Okay, you have T, you have P, I'm hearing Pat, and Patty, I'm hearing Ro, Rory, I'm hearing Rory, I'm hearing the shores, maybe some of you live by a shore, um, yeah, Maryland, Maryland, MD, Rhode Island, I don't know, you got O and A, there could be a Joe, there could be a Jade, 
Um, there could be a Jude. Um, here we go. We got G. We got G. Oh, so there's a George. There's a Gary. Um, what else? Okay, I'm hearing Philadelphia. I'm also hearing Jersey. Got a Z. I'm hearing Zia. Maze. Maybe some of you are going like a corn maze or something. A maze. Some of you are amazed. I don't know. Okay. I'm hearing North Carolina. I don't know where that's coming in because we don't even see the letters. But And there it is, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy because it is an illusion. And trust in God because karma is real. Until next time, love and light.